follow along through this. Um, again, ladies and gentlemen, when we're looking at values where the graph is increasing, we move from left to right. So we're following the x values, and those are the values that we're going to be uh, talking about. Is the graph going up or down? So as we move from left to right, as we follow the x values from left to right, if the graph is going up, it's increasing. So we can see here automatically, so let's just focus on one at a time. From negative 1 all the way to the x value of 1, the graph is doing what? Increasing. Now, last time I showed you it like this. Right? Here you guys can see that um, sometimes another way to write it is using the including, excluding form. So you can also write your intervals where the value is included or not included. Okay, and that's kind of helpful a lot of times when we distinguish them. I used an example of a continuous function, so I just used interval notations, just always, always parentheses, and I was consistent that way. But sometimes you might see it like this because we have values that are inclu not included and we have values that are included. So um, we could also separate it like that. Then I could also see from the value of 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 5 the function is increasing. Decreasing all the way to the left would be negative infinity to negative 1. That's included. And then also from 1 to 3. Those are both included. And then from the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then as that's going down, it's going to go to infinity. Just remember, infinity is not included, so that's why we use parentheses. Open circles are not included, that's why I used a parenthesis. And please remember, we do not care about the y value. We just are just looking at the y value if it's going up or down, and that's it. Okay? Um, but we're just talking about the increasing and decreasing. As far as uh, local min and local max, relative min, relative max, absolute max, absolute min, um, you can see that there's no absolute max or absolute min because this graph continues in infinitely this way and infinitely that way, right? So there is no absolute min or max. We're only going to be looking at um, relative min and relative max. And actually, let me check one thing that I was actually going to look at. I forgot to. What was I asking him? What was my max? Hmm. Okay. So again, you can look at, we can see that in a given interval, that is a minimum point, that is a minimum point, and that is a maximum point. Um, since this point does not exist, that's not going to be a relative maximum. And since it doesn't approach from the left or from the right, this is not going to be a maximum as well. Because if you just go right to the left, you jump up to here. Right? So that means that wouldn't be the largest max. The, the relative min or relative max only points to, given a given interval, between that interval, that is the lowest point. Or between a given interval, that is the maximum point. So your relative or local min is going to be the points negative 1, 1, and 1, 2, 3, 1. Whereas your relative max is going to be point one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. And again, there is no absolute min or absolute max. Okay? All right.